So today I'm uh, doing some more Jeep storage. I'm using some of my scrap uh, PVC, expanded core PVC, uh, to build some storage onto the door of the passenger or back passenger side. Uh, these DeWalt 20 volt tools are fantastic. I'm so happy I started switching to that. I power it all from the, the sun from my Jeep and they're kept in here. I also um, did some storage kind of making some room, I guess. The dog bed that's normally just floating around back here, which I don't like that it slides around because the dogs are back here all the time. I made some straps that go up over the roll bar um, onto these grab handles and then go across and then do the same on the opposite side and then go from roll bar to roll bar to just pin it up against the ceiling so that it's out of the way. The other two things I always have floating around, which I don't like, um, are these two tool kits. I have the DeWalt compressor and this the uh, DeWalt impact driver, which I remove all my lugs and rotate my tires with. So I like having that on hand. So I thought uh, it would be nice if I could mount it to the door. So when the door opens, it actually is holding it. So I kind of envisioned and I've made this wildly unique apparatus here that will essentially go down in there and then it can rest all of its weight on this arm here and then in this pocket. And then this piece, I notched out the back so that it rests a little bit flatter. So this extruded contour of the door there can be compensated for on this. And then the two will just kind of go together like that. And then I'll screw them together. Uh, it's be a little bit more like this. Um, and then I'll put some straps on this in order to hold those tool kits to the door itself. So they won't be floating around anymore, just out in the wild. So uh, that's the latest update. I'll probably do one of these on the opposite door too, because I really like how this worked out. It's really tight and it seems to be able to hold quite a bit of weight. And then it makes good use of that space against the door, which is kind of, as you can see over this gap here. So everything above this gap to the top of the window isn't really used space. So if I can put some molly pouches there or something on the other side to store some more stuff, even better. Uh, but yeah, that's just an update on some of the things I've been doing. I did bend this, my homemade uh, rear facing camera. I had to tip it up so the camera was facing back a little bit more. I just recently unplugged for the first time in about a year and three months. I ran this cooler on freeze mode in the garage. So there's no climate control and it never skipped a beat. My ice cubes never missed anything. Uh, there's Luna. Hey Luna, how's it going? Um, but yeah, this Alpicool, I couldn't speak more highly of it. It is a fantastic product. Um, but yeah, I'm just uh, making a box for that too with a little bit more insulation. I think that's the only thing that this really doesn't have that something like a Dometic does, which is insulation on the exterior of it because it's made to be on most of the time and not just kind of on and off like those Dometics are. But I can leave it on because it doesn't use that much power. So uh, yeah, that's about all there is in Jeepland. Door storage, overhead storage, that's it.